What's up, guys? I am back again. So this time around, we're gonna change things up a little bit. Instead of drawing and painting and all that stuff, we're gonna 3D model. Yes, I'm a 3D model a guitar using Maya. And what I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna be using cubes. Actually, I am using. I might have to use a few other shapes, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to use only cubes and make it work. You who don't know what Maya is, Maya is a really awesome software for. 3D modeling, animations, visual effects, and like for a lot of things. It's a very strong and powerful software. And it's by Autodesk. Um, right now it's free, only if you're a student. Actually, so if you go to college or if you're in high school and you want to get more into it, just go to their uh, website and download the student version and that's free and you can learn a lot of stuff with it. Now before I do start, I just want to make, make one thing clear is that I'll be making a very low poly version. Low poly, I mean, it's not going to be super detailed. So without further ado, we're going to start and get this break. So as you all can see, I start off with uh, a cube and then I added subdivisions on it. And then I just started modeling and shaping it up to the top part of the guitar. I'm not sure what it's called. I have like zero knowledge of anything about guitars. Like I absolutely do not know anything. Um, but honestly, this was kind of like killing two birds with one stone because this was also for an assignment for one of my classes. I had to 3D model um, a guy with a prop. So in my reference picture, you can probably see a guy standing in a T-pose. So I'm done modeling him, it was just a guitar that was left. So I just thought I'd do a little video on that instead. Um, but yeah, so you pretty much started with the cube, you shape it up, and then I deleted some of the faces in the middle and then bridged all the edges so that it's like a whole piece and not just hollow in the middle. And uh, um, and then in the end, so I did cheat a little bit. I did use cylinders. I mean, I was gonna only end up, I was only gonna use squares and cubes, but for that middle part, I could have used the cube as well, but I just, I don't know, out of habit, I just picked up a cylinder instead. But yeah, that's the only part I think I used the cylinder on. Maybe, yeah. And then well, what's very important is that, so most of the modeling is done in the perspective view. The, perspe the perspective view is where, you know, you can like see your thing from all, all directions, from every axis, the X, Y, and Z axis. And then there's also a front view and then a back, sorry, front view, a side view. The side view is actually, I think it's a left, left side view, and then a top view. So that's the four view. You got a perspective, top, front, and left. So it's very important to like toggle between all these um, modes that way you know you can fix like all the little things here and there um now there are more options too you can also uh, you know if you hit spacebar and move your mouse you can change it to like different views like there's bottom view there's a left view and all that but you don't really need all that so you all can see like i pretty much used the cube for everything and just shaped everything out so and one thing that i really want to emphasize on is that use reference pictures like you have no idea how much it helps I mean, even, if, even if you're not putting it in your Maya file, if just open it on Google on your side, on a side window or something, that helps a lot. Because, you know, I don't know what a guitar looks like. I mean, I know what a guitar looks like, but I don't really know what it looks like, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I learned a lot, you know, and that's how you grow. Because the one thing that I don't like about people is that many of them don't want to use references for some reason, like, like it's against the law or something. References is not against the law. And it's not unethical as well. You can use as many references as you want. And if you're that concerned about being ethical, just make your own art then. Because if you draw from a reference, then that is your drawing and you own every single part of it. So just do that. Yeah. Sorry. I don't want, want to rant all, everything about it. But <laughs> anyways, so um, I added edge loops in the middle so that I can like delete some of the faces. Actually, no, yeah, I can. Uh, what I did was I actually extruded them inside a little bit and then I deleted it. It kind of gave me this little concave thing up there. Sorry, my vocabulary sucks. <clears throat> I need to find more awesome, impressive keywords. But yeah, just like that, we're like done with like the basic sh shape. Like I can just, I can tell it's the guitar. And this is, like I said, it's very low poly, like um, nothing super crazy, but sometimes simple is better, you know? Oh, one more thing. I use the cylinder again <laughs> for the strings. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, well. Exposed. 
and this was a lot of fun because I, um, I it was a lot of fun like pushing in all the faces inside because I used a cylinder with like I think eight or nine subdivisions subdivision height and I just selected all the vertices and then pushed everything inside and then just copy pasted it so this part was uh, fun and then um, after putting up all the strings it was just me fine-tuning I kind of beveled the edges a little bit so that I get like a more um, smoother look but yeah I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I will be back in a bit thank you Alright guys, so we're finally done modeling this and after adding um, a three-point light setup, I, found, I was finally able to render it. So these are these are some of the renders that I ended up with. This took um, three, so there was like a little side view, a three-quarter view, and then whoa, something happened. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> and then did a little close-up and then yeah, side view. So yeah, like you can see like just using basic cube I was able to make goddamn guitar so the opportunities are endless and if this video gets enough likes enough shares and enough comments I think I'll make I'll upload a tutorial on Maya on how to use it or maybe use this software more than just doing concept art or designs or blueprints so let me know let me know and other than that I appreciate everyone's support I got a lot of love in the previous video that I uploaded which you can check out right up here and um, thank you so much for sticking around. I'm gonna try to upload a video every week, right? Because yeah, yeah, it's a hard time. 
So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate everyone's support and I will see you guys in the next one.